Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to open up three packs of Kanza Tarkir. We'll start off with generic dragon number two on the front. I think this is Icefall. Actually, I think this is Icefall region. I think that's the name of the dragon. Alright, so we're going to start off with a Scream Reach Brawler. Lightwalker, Durger Nemesis, Dragon Scarred Bear, Revealing Wind, Vandalize, Fate Forgotten, Flatten, Ancient Carp, our three uncommons are Display of Dominance, Warbringer, and Strong Arm Monk, and our first rare of the video is Corpse Weft, two and a black enchantment. You can spend one and a black to exile one or more creature cards from your graveyard. You can put, a, put an XX black zombie horror creature token onto the battlefield tapped, where X is twice the number of cards exiled this way. I think there's some pretty crazy power in this card. I'm not sure where it's going to land in terms of what it sees played and constructed and, and things like that, but for some reason, this card seems like it could really do some damage. We have a foil ancient carp. It's a very pretty card. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter. Um, we have a planes and a zombie horror creature token to go with our corpse left. It's always fun getting the token to match the corresponding card in a pack you just opened. Let's open up this pack. It has a dragon on the front. I don't know the name. Okay, so we're going to start off with a Dromoka Warrior, Coat with Venom, Colossodon Yearling, Gurmog Drowner, Foul Tongue Shriek, Reduce in Stature, Dragon's Eye Sentry, Guardian Shield Bearer, Sarkin's Rage, Vial of Dragonfire, Three Uncommons, Learn from the Past, Herd, Trace, Herd Chaser Dragon, and Deathwind, and our rare is Boltwing Marauder, three black red, five four, flying dragon. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. That's a very cool card, and pretty powerful too. A little expensive at five mana, but oh well. We have a forest. And a mount token. A mount. Morph. A morph token. Last pack with Sarkin. And on the front. These dragons packs are for some reason very hard to open from the top. Seem to always have to open them from the bottom. I don't know why. Hand of Silimgar. Hardened Berserker. Territorial Rock. Marsh Hulk. Sandstep Scavenger, Ojutai's Breath, Sprinting Warbrute, Stampeding Elk Herd, Custodian of the Trove, our three uncommons are Display of Dominance, Dramoka's Gift, and Atarka Monument, and our final rare of the video is... Icefall Regent, 3 double blue, 4 3 flying drag. When Icefall Regent enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for as long as you control Icefall Regent. Spells your opponent's cast that target Icefall Regent cost two more to cast. Very good limited card. If you see it in limited and you're able to play blue, you'll probably want to play blue. Or at least play it. Uh, we have a foil Dromoka Captain. I think Dromoka Captain could be. Um, see, see some playing constructed. Three mana for a 1-1 one, is not great. It does have first strike and an interesting ability. Whenever Jamoka Captain attacks, bolster one. Uh, very, very interesting. A little, It's a little bit late. It's one of those awkward cards. Like, if this were two mana, I think it'd be really, really good. It'd probably also be a rare. Uh, at three mana, a little bit awkward. But it may see some play. We have a Swamp. And a Tip card. Very cool. Token? Alright. The rares we opened in the order 
that we opened them were Corpse Weft, Boltwing Marauder, and Icefall Region. Very cool. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.